The heel prick test is a test that every newborn baby gets and they usually get it on day three to day five after they've been born and it can be done in the hospital or it can be done in the community by the public health nurse. And it's a really important test that previously had checked for six specific conditions but as of 2019 it now checks for eight specific conditions. And there are two really that are quite important for the traveller community. And the, the first one is galactosemia, or classical galactosemia, as it's referred to. And this is a condition where um, it affects the traveller community more so than children in the Irish population in general. And they're lacking a specific chemical or an enzyme to actually break down the sugar galactose. And all milk, human milk and formula milk and cow's milk, contain two sugars, galactose and lactose and they lack the chemical to actually break this down so what happens is you get very high levels of a specific sugar which can actually just cause a lot of health problems. Um, the heel prick test allows us to actually detect for this but more so if there is a history of galactosemia or if a child is born and they're known to be from the traveller community we can do an earlier test specifically called the Butler test and that very, it's a very similar test to the heel prick test. Um, they have the test carried out in the same way and it's a number of little drops of blood onto the card and this goes to the laboratory in Dublin and they will try and give a result back within about 24 or 48 hours. And this is done soon after the baby is born and it looks to see if this specific chemical is expressed in the baby's blood. Um, and if it is, then they're normal and if it isn't, then they have to go on a special milk. Um, but in the, in the meantime, we would say until the result comes back that they would take a specific milk that has no galactose or lactose in it so something like soya milk would certainly um, suffice until they actually get the result back that allows them then to go on to regular formula or to breastfeed. The Bootler test should not stop a traveller woman from breastfeeding as you can hand express your milk until you get the test results back. Talk to your midwife for more information and support. The second condition that the heel prick test checks for is something else called GA1 or glutaric aciduria type 1 and this is a condition where there is a chemical or an enzyme lacking and so protein can't be broken down. So if you have protein that can't be broken down it becomes very high in the body and can actually have very significant health effects as well. So for this condition to be detected early by the newborn screening test, it's really important because these children would require to be on a special low protein diet for the rest of their lives. So just really getting back to the heel prick test then and specifically for galactosemia, um, as I mentioned earlier that these babies will be on soya milk until they get the result of the butler test back.